In my previous video, I inserted the Alicia X-Filter 4-band analog EQ into my guitar rig. Now we're going to try out the BetterMaker Stereo Passive Equalizer. It's also an analog processor, but with the added benefit of a plug-in interface for parameter controls through your DAW. There isn't a standalone software controller or MIDI capability, but I don't think this was ever meant to be used in a live setting where real-time program changes would be needed. It's a two-channel, two-band, Poltec style EQ, which gives you that unique ability to both attenuate and boost the frequency range simultaneously. In the case of the Better Maker, it wouldn't be a single frequency, but more of a narrow band of frequencies. I do like the way it looks with all the blinky lights. It's easier to view at a glance where things are set. Um, I'm not going to do an in-depth review of how this can be used in your mixing or mastering chain, but suffice it to say, I do think it shines as a mid-side processor on your mix bus. Mileage will vary depending on how you apply that. On the recordings, I'll be using my custom made Scravason Swan 7. It's a fan fret guitar, 25 inch to 26 inch scale. It has a flame maple top, Pell Moon ebony back. It also has the Pell Moon ebony fretboard, that, which isn't dark like most of the other ebony fretboards you see. It has a Viper headstock, they call it the Viper shape. It doesn't have the laminate, the metal laminate that most of them have now between the veneer and the main body, which gives it strength, but I haven't had any problems with this one. It has the Rural Domination EQ uh, pickup selector between neck, pickup, and bridge, or both. And um, it's a beautiful guitar to play. The asymmetrical neck profile on the back, it's a little getting used to, but once I have got used to it, I feel more comfortable on this than any of my other seven strings, which are predominantly Ibanez's which I know is sacrilegious of me to say, but it is a fantastic playing guitar. So I'm going to go through the low boost, low cut, high boost, and high cut, and with the high boost curve. Right now, it's at set at 60 hertz on the low bus. It's not engaged, so you can hear it without it. Then engaged. Sounds like it's influencing a little, a little bit when I disengage and re-engage, and everything's set to nothing. So I'll have to examine the. boost set at 5k set up to 75%
So I actually move that down to five so they're on the same frequency range. So that was the Better Maker Passive EQ. It's a great pull tick style EQ. I don't know if I would track with it, but I definitely use it on my guitar groups, maybe on my drum bus, um, maybe even on the mix bus, just if I need to really sculpt a sound that didn't come across as warm as I wanted to, to during recording. Um, other than that, I think it's a sturdy piece of equipment. Anybody that wants to try it live, be my guest, but I do like it a lot though. So till next time.